happened first at 6. The Tulsa Fire Department and Police Department will soon have new headquarters. The city of Tulsa is under contract to buy a new public safety complex. It's at the old State Farm headquarters near 51st and 129th East Avenue. I talked with both the fire chief and the police chief today about how this move will help their agencies. It's huge for us because uh, obviously Everyone knows our woes of this building and, and uh, we have grossly outgrown it. Since 1969, the Tulsa Police Department headquarters have been in this downtown building. In the decades since, the department has more than doubled in size, but their space has remained the same. Total, we have over 1,100 employees, so uh, we've really outgrown this facility. It's the reason Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin told me he's excited for the new public safety complex just a few miles up the road. It's going to be great for us to uh, actually have real workspace where where people can spread out. Tulsa Fire Chief Michael Baker agrees. Definitely excited about the opportunity that we're going to have uh, to consolidate the buildings that we have within the fire department and bring our teams together. Both chiefs say their current facilities are in bad shape. The move here to the old State Farm headquarters will be a big upgrade. Along with serving as the home for Tulsa Fire and Tulsa Police, the complex will house the Tulsa Area Emergency Management Agency, the City Medical Team, and the Mingo Valley Police Division. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum says the $25.5 million dollar purchase will be funded through the Improve Our Tulsa bond that voters approved in August. This acquisition is a really good deal for the taxpayers. Uh, it is substantially less than it would have cost to build a new facility. The total bond for the new complex was $45.5 million. The city has budgeted about $20 million for relocation, reconfiguration, and infrastructure. I'm just eager for our first responders to get out of the dumpy buildings that they've been forced to work in uh, for decades and get into a building that I think reflects uh, the honor that the citizens of Tulsa hold for first responders. Chief Franklin and Chief Baker both told me the new facilities will also be a good recruiting tool and allow more collaboration. And when we could have everyone that is needed to be at the table immediately there, um, that's a game changer for us. And I think it's just, it's for, for Tulsans, I think we'll see many unrealized benefits. The city plans to close on the sale by the end of February. They hope to have that new complex opened by the end of next year.